Now, barbershops are a very important part of black culture and the hood. In the hood, getting a bad haircut pretty much means you could get roasted for two weeks straight and you're not getting no hoes. So it's very, very, very important to avoid bad barbers. But if you really don't know how to spot a bad barber, don't worry, I got you. Here's three signs a barber is trash. Now, if a barber has too much downtime or you walk into the shop and he's just chilling with nothing to do, then I guarantee you nine times out of 10, that barber is trash. In my experience, good barbers are booked and busy. It ain't no reason a barber should be looking bored at a barber shop. And I'm not gonna lie, this is usually because they have no clients. And they have no clients because they're either a new barber or a bad barber. And sometimes you can take a risk with a new barber, but I would have bet my hairline on it. What's up, how you doing? Are you waiting for somebody? Yeah. Who you waiting for? I'm waiting for Wale. I'm not even gonna lie, but he's built for a little minute, bro. You, you might as well come sit in this chair right here. Now, this is a great mistake I used to make before scheduling appointments. If a barber asks who you're waiting for, if you need a cut, will try to lure you in with the promise of getting cut faster. Then nine times out of 10, that barber is trash. Bro, think about it. There's a reason there's a wait time for the barber you want and the barber you don't know has an empty chair. Matter of fact, I'm probably not getting my point across. Let me show you a cut I got from one of these barbers at high school. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Who this bro, I lied to you not. I was debating in my school for a whole week. I literally went viral. Matter of fact, you saw the cut. I don't even need to say no more. Hey bro, you try to come here real quick? Yeah, I got you bro, what happened? Now I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be like a two for one, but these should be pretty obvious. If a barber keeps stopping to look at your head intensely and or call somebody over to look at your hair, then that barber is trash. I'm not gonna lie, at that point bro, he already messed you up. Just be ready to wear durags and beaties for the next two weeks. Now I'm done. How you like the cut? Now I'm not gonna lie, when you mess with a new barber, this just a risk you take. Just take your L and keep it pushing. And you better not even think about not paying them, or you're gonna catch a different type of fade. What did you do to me? Wale would have never. Bro, I gave you a cut, bro. Now I need $20. Are you waiting for somebody? Hold on. Oh, yeah. Are you waiting for somebody? Yeah. Who you waiting for? I'm waiting for what? <laughs> like Whew, I'm done. How you like the cut? Spice, you supposed to rotate. Oh, shit. You made it to the end again. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Today, I wanted to drop the How to Survive in the Hood 10, but I still have a couple scenes I need to shoot. I've been listening to y'all in the comments, and I'm trying to make this the longest one. I'm not trying to be OC and make it 10 minutes, but I'm trying to make it at least five minutes for y'all. So bear with me. In the next three days, I promise I'm gonna post it. So with all that being said, the code word is fade. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Oh, dog, out!